Six thirty, we got USC traveling to number thirteen Notre Dame. Notre Dame only favored by uh, seven points on NBC. Despite USC being a train wreck this year, they lost forty two twenty six against Utah. Caden Slovis, on the other hand, has been one of those few consistent pieces. He went thirty three fifty three, threw for four hundred and one yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Four hundred and one freaking yards. That's so many yards to throw for in a college football game and lose by like sixteen. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, he's just ruining his efforts. Uh, Keontae Ingram didn't have the best day, but not a horrible. 14 carries for 70 yards. Drake London had a great day. 16 catches for 162 yards and a touchdown. 16 catches in a game is absolutely insane, by the way. Uh, two weeks ago, Notre Dame was able to eke out Virginia Tech on the road, 32-29 at Virginia Tech. Uh, Tyler Bushner had, had only went 6-14, of 14, threw for 113 yards, a touchdown, two interceptions. Um, but Jack Cohn was the starting quarterback. Um, he was crucial in the ending. Um, but uh, it was not a great offensive performance. Kyron Williams had 19 carries for 81 yards and a touchdown. Kevin Austin Jr. had three catches for 70 yards. Um, Notre Dame is 47 and 36 in this series all time. The last three games have gone to Notre Dame, and they've won four of the last five. Um, I think single handedly. Uh, Caden Slovis can keep this close, right? Single-handedly, Caden Slovis is a really solid quarterback. And I understand why he's slipped down in the charts a little bit because this team's not winning. Um, he's still a really good quarterback in this college football universe. And we're talking about some quarterbacks that are eking. Uh, like, um, there's, there's not a lot of college football quarterbacks that I'm, like, 100% a, a first-round draft pick. Like, outside of Matt Corral, I don't see anyone that is 100% a first-round draft pick. I see some options. Like, Malik Willis is a, first, is a possible first-round draft pick. So is Sam Howell. Um, but, like, there's none that I would take top five. I think Matt Corral's a top ten pick, maybe. Um, he's a good, solid quarterback, but it's just, like, USC is Caden Slovis. Caden Slovis is definitely, he, I think he's going to be something in the NFL. Um, I think Caden Slovis keeps us close. Even Caden Slovis could get the upset right here, right? We're going to have a crazy day of college football. I mean, USC on the road, two upset Notre Dame.